What's up guys, welcome back to RPEG Electronics. Today we're going to be offering the Gunfire R official LED uh, sensor kit for DIY. Okay, that means if you want to build your own LED sensors in different lengths, different configurations, you can now, all right? Uh, this is everything that's going to be included. I'm going to go through it one by one with you, okay? So first things first is you're going to get four of the official Gunfire R PCBs uh, from JB. You got a little logo here, okay? Each PCB, you can just snap off like this. It's gonna put three LEDs inside, a resistor, and then we have uh, four holes here for connecting the power. All right, I'll explain it each one step by step. Okay, so you get four of these. You're gonna get the uh, high power black LED sensors. These are made in Germany. These are the good, the really good ones. So buying this kit will save you a lot of, um, you know, shipping and things, getting little parts in. All right, you're gonna get 12 of these because you need 12 to make a set, obviously. Four times three is 12, okay? You are going to get four resistors. These are the correct um, value resistors for these LEDs. Three LEDs gets one resistor, okay? And now let's go over how, uh, it, oh, and you also, sorry, I forgot one thing. Uh, everyone loves these, so you're gonna get four sticky gel tabs, okay? These are available on Amazon for a few dollars, but yeah, you get four right away. Okay, so we're gonna go over how these work. So here you can see on the top, there's uh, six holes. One side has the resistor here, okay? So what we're gonna do is the LED has a slightly longer leg and a slightly shorter leg. The shorter leg is the positive side that has to connect to the resistor here. That's the power of the resistor, okay? So it's gonna go like this, okay? Resistor side here, short leg, long leg, and then we just follow that. Short leg, long leg, and short leg, long leg. This video is not sponsored by that shitty movie, Long Legs with Nicolas Cage. Okay, so short leg, long leg, short leg, long leg, short leg, long leg, all right. Okay, and that's it. So then you're gonna solder these points down. Now, the best part about doing this uh, yourself is you may have a uh, OLED TV, in which case doing it uh, flush like this will give you the best result on three sides because the, the panel is very thin. Or you may have a ha you may have a thicker TV and you may want to um, put it in halfway length. Okay, you can make you can bend it here and solder it down at halfway length. You can line it up using the table. Okay. Or if you're uh, using, you know, a cabinet or something, you may want to do a full length, okay? You can use a full length, whatever you like, okay? You can use uh, some, some um, putty to hold it down. It's, it's not that hard, okay? As long as you got the uh, polarities correct, the short leg must always, always be on the resistor side, okay? So after you solder this down in whatever way you like, okay, then we're going to add the resistor, all right? So once you're done here, okay, you should have this. That's when it's already been soldered down, okay? Now we need to add the resistor, okay? So after you add the resistor, just for example, now for, since you're DIYing this, the resistor has no polarity, so it doesn't matter which way you go. Now normally we put the resistor like this. We follow the logo and we just put it in like this, bend it, solder, solder, and we're done. But in some situations, uh, maybe you're not sticking on this side, maybe you wanna stick it on this side, you can put the resistor on the opposite side. It's okay, it's up to you, all right? As long as the polarities are correct, okay? So when you're done, all you, you're gonna have a uh, PCB, okay? That's completed, I'm gonna get, get a completed one here, actually. Uh, okay, so here's a completed one, here's a flush one. Uh, you cut off the legs, okay? And then uh, you can either add a JSC connector, is optional, or you can just bare wire into the, uh, into the chip, okay? So if you, wanna, if you wanna use a JST connector, we have two little holes in the center perfectly for a JST connector. If you wanna bare wire, all you do is you get a old USB cable, you strip off the ends, you chop it off, Okay, the red wire is always gonna be your, your power and the black wire should always be your ground, okay? 
this will go into the VCC, this will go into the ground, okay? And your LEDs should light up. Now, the you're gonna need four of these. So you can do four wires and then splice them all together into one USB port. You can do four individual USBs. I mean, it's a waste, but you can, all right? So there's a lot of DIY options here, uh, and uh, this is all gonna come straight from the US, free shipping from New York, just like always, all right? After you're done, all you do is you take your gel, your gel tape, okay? And you attach it to your TV or your monitor, however you like. I like to do it this way. I put my gel tape on the TV and then I stick it right from the back and that's it. And your LEDs should show. So after you're done soldering everything, you want to use uh, the USB to, to double check, uh, power it with a you know battery pack or something. Make sure that your LEDs are glowing purple, okay? When you're done, they should glow. All right, using your phone's camera, you can check. If they're not glowing, then you probably soldered something incorrectly. You'll probably have to get another, you'll probably have to get a replacement or try to redo it, okay? Uh, we can't make any, we don't, we're not gonna teach you how to solder. We expect you to be able to do that by now. Any other questions, you can just put in the comments below, but this is a very simple kit. All right, everything will be included. Um, that's all. Thank you very much to JB for creating these PCBs and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.